Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig. Guys, I have a fantastic collection of little die cut card focals from our friends at Find It Media. You guys, these are so beautiful. There's birds, there's owls, there's poppies, and there's hydrangeas. You guys, together, they make really beautiful cards like this one. This is our giveaway card for this episode, so if you stick around, you'll learn how one lucky viewer can win this card to keep or share with a friend. So come play with us. All right, let's take a look at the hydrangeas. First of all, you're getting circles and squares. And these just punch right out, you guys. So here's an example of the one I used. I like to put my whole palm behind them and then just kind of go around like that. And then if you turn them over, they're gonna have little, these little tabs that connected them. And I just like to make sure those are gone. So I just use my little scissors or even a sanding tool or an emery board to cut those off so that they don't show up against, especially a dark paper, they would show up. But this is one thing that Debbie and I both didn't think to use at the time. How cute just on a little lace doily, right? So there's a little bonus idea for you. Um, so we have them in circles, we have them in squares. Beautiful hydrangeas. And this particular card that is our giveaway card for this episode, this is a giveaway because we're trying to promote our Paper Wishes YouTube channel. So what we would ask that you do if you're watching us on our webisode page on Paper Wishes, there's a little YouTube icon right down below the video. If you click on that, it'll take you to our YouTube channel. We ask that you subscribe, that we leave a nice comment for us. And then in about a week, we're gonna reply to a comment with congratulations, you've won and give you instructions on how to claim your card. We're only choosing one viewer and we are going to use your specific YouTube username to identify you, so you have to know your YouTube username. And it's a good idea, too, to turn on that notification bell in the top right-hand corner. Not only will you notice if we send you a message, but also you'll notice that um, we have a new video that has dropped. So for this one, you guys, center step card. This is one of our very basic cards that we use all the time. We love that it gives you just this really nice space to put decorations on. And it's so easy for your recipient to get it. They just open it up and it automatically does what it's supposed to do. Um, so these are our favorites. We use these all the time. They come in a pack like this with five cards and five, en five envelopes. They're already die cut, they're already folded. You just pull them out, okay? And they're ready to cover with paper or stamp on and do whatever you'd like. So for this one, you guys, I used 12 by 12 Hydrangea Heaven cardstock, all right? So I used this one right here, actually. I used this part of the border. I used just a square that was just this much. Then I inked the edges with a little blueberry ink using a little blending tool, which I don't seem to find here. Um, you could use your favorite blending tool to add that. And then I use the hydrangea paper that's on the back, that's just all over hydrangeas, to cut a border here, leaving a little space in between. And then also spaces here, okay? And then when I punched out this little circular piece, um, I went ahead and used that blueberry ink all around that as well. Then I added Hello, that is from our Purple Dazzle sticker collection, which is just a huge assortment of borders and greetings all in one pack. Okay, and I used the little script greeting right there to add that. The butterfly, you guys, is from our Jewel Butterfly collection, which is so fun to use. I like to take my little scissors and cut around so it doesn't have quite as much clear acetate around it and then fold it in half like this, and then just put a little line of glue right on the body and then just stick that right there. So it has a little bit of dimension when it pops out of the card. All right, so don't forget, that is our giveaway card for this episode. All right, so much to show you guys today. All right, the next one is poppies. I love these poppies. They look very vintage to me with the black background on them. And look at the card that Debbie made. Isn't that gorgeous? She used a slim line card and she also used, let me grab this. She used 12 by 12 newsprint florals. Okay, she used actually this paper right here, she just used this part of it up here. And then she also used the solid cardstock 
for this circle. Now the circle, she used a cutting die with a scallop on it to go ahead and actually she used the circle on this round one right here and cut it into this really beautiful scallop. Here we go, just like that. And then, so you can cut these into shapes as well, which I thought was beautiful. And then she used the circle that doesn't have the scallops on it from the red cardstock to map that on and then foam taped it. So she used the squares from this one and then the circle one right here, but she also outlined all of her little squares with, these are thin line primary, thin, thin line primary dazzles, okay? So primary being red, yellow, blue, and then we thought, you know what, you need black and green and brown too. So you get all of those. She used the red ones to kind of just stick those all around for outlining. Thought that was so cute. And then she added gold jewel dazzle stickers. They're little circles that you can just put right in the center. And then this right here, is the coordinating die cuts that you just punch out for a little greeting, and she added that as well. Okay, that is awesome. Oh, and then, I forgot to say, she inked the edges with charcoal ink, so it has a nice dark shadow around the whole thing. All right, and next one, you guys, look at this one. Beautiful, this one uses these fantastic Look at the flowers and the birds on these. Also the punch outs and the circles and the squares. You can see here on her interlocking frame die cut cards, um, you get three cards and three envelopes in this one. There's step-by-step -step instructions on how to put these together. They're already die cut, they're already folded. All you have to do is sort of punch out the center part of the frame and then you're foam taping the frame around this. So it's really, really easy to do. And then you're just opening it like that. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. So yeah, she used the square and used a corner rounder right there. And this one just turned out really beautifully. She also used Botanical Library 12 by 12 pattern cardstock. She used the back side or what we like to call the B side of the papers. So she used this one with the beautiful pink and she also used the coordinating solid cardstock as well. And then around the frame and around the entire card she inked with lipstick, a nice hot pink color. And then she applied these cute little fancy border dazzle stickers and if you can see these in white. Okay, and these ones are actually called white fancy border dazzle stickers. All right, and place those all the way around. And then the So Sorry For Your Loss, that is from our Sympathy Dazzle stickers, My Heart Is With You, which is listed down below. That's another one I forgot to grab. As you can see why, there's so much to show you today. All right, so got that one done. All right, this last one, super special. All right, this is a really cool and beautiful fold-out card that Debbie did, but before I show you, let's take a look at what she used here. These are the owl ones with the beautiful purple flowers. Aren't these gorgeous? I love the detail, and the flowers, the owl is really cute looking. Sometimes they're kind of scary. All right, and she used a perfect paper pack, Mystic Moon 12 by 12 patterned cardstock. She also used the solid cardstock for the base, and then she added in some of the coordinating die cuts, okay? And then finally, as you can see here, gave it some sparkle with some purple jewel border dazzle stickers. All right, so let me show you how this opens. To grab it on the right side. All right, it opens just like this. Okay, in case you missed that. Isn't that cool? I love it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to put the whole thing together. Debbie also commented that this would be awesome in a scrapbook page because you could put, use this much inside of a scrapbook page and then open it up and it would be great for photos or a card. So the base, you guys, is a 10 by 10 inch square and then it's scored at five and five. Okay, so then you've got five four five inch squares, okay? And then it's folded on those score lines like that. And then what you're gonna do, I'm gonna use it on this side so you can see it. I 
unfortunately chose a paper that's black on the back side. Then you're going to turn it over and you're going to fold it into two triangles here. Should have grabbed my bone folder. And then we're going to fold it this way. Okay. Now, we're going to take some scissors and we're going to cut just right here on this line. This is the only cut we're making. Just like that. All right, so this is going to fold and this is going to fold. These are all going to be mountain folds like this. Okay. And then I've cut some paper. These are all five inch squares. So those are the squares right here that you're seeing. And then you're gonna glue them here, 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 and here on just those triangles. That's really important. All right, so let's do this one first. And I'm just gonna use my Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. I'm gonna put some glue right here. And then you're just aligning right there. And I'm going to alternate colors. Okay, and then we're going to put glue right here. And then glue here. Oops. And finally, glue here. Okay. Now, while that dries for just a moment, <laughs> we're gonna go back to this one. Okay, and I'm just gonna play with this a little bit more, how we open it again. So it's this way. And it's important, Debbie said, when you're opening or closing it, you want to hold on to the bottom one. You just put a finger there. That way it doesn't skitter around everywhere. Okay, it's going like this, it's going like this. And then when you get to this point right here, you just want to lift it up a little bit. Just like that. All right, let's see, go back and see if our glue is dry. Okay, so you want to go like this. All right, so we're all done gluing our pieces. Everything is dry. We're going to hold on to this top corner because remember, it's a little flap. And then you guys are just going to turn just like before. Whoops. Turn like that. Let me try that again. There we go, like that. And remember, you got to keep a finger right here. Like that. And then. Okay, can you see how that would make a really cool like little scrapbook? And it makes an amazing card. So you guys, leave a comment. Tell Debbie what a great job she did. <laughs> so you guys, we have a fantastic money saver on this collection. These are so fun and they're very inexpensive and you get a ton whether you use just one on a card like our giveaway card or you use three on a card, one on the inside. There's lots to play with. So the money saver right hand side of the screen, all the items are listed down below if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page. Click on the color photos if you want very specific um, lists of everything we used on that card. If you're watching us on YouTube, just look below the video in the description box for the link for the Paper Wishes webisode page. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.